Hi, I'm Rex. Welcome to my world. Okay, I'm back. Now, I don't have a lot of equipment, but I'm filming on my uh, Galaxy S10 Plus, I think it's called. Anyway, so what I'm going to do here is uh, I pulled a box out of a locker that uh, I bought. Um, actually, I bought two or three of them. And we're going to go through them together now that it's springtime and starting to warm up. And uh, discover together what's in it, which is pretty exciting. In any case, um, I found something that I really, really liked. And it's actually going to go on those shelves right there after I get them lit up. And you'll see them in some of the next videos. So, let's get started. I'm excited about this. Here we go. I don't know if you can see that. I think you know where I'm going with this, right? Unfortunately, it's an empty box. Sometimes that's what happens when you get lockers. However, you probably won't find many of these anymore. I'm hoping that the phaser is found in another box. If it is, then I'm going to put it back in the box. And it's going to stay like that. But anyway, that's pretty cool. All right. Next item. Now, there's a new series of Star Trek with my beloved captain. I won't go into it much further. But this has a lot to do with it, especially with the new series. So here we go. Bear with me, gotta open all these. They were kind of put in a box and they're probably dusty and dirty. It's the first time I've actually taken them all out and looked at them. So, I think we have a board cube. And if I remember correctly, when I was a lot younger, these had buttons on it somewhere. I hope they took the batteries out of these. Because if they didn't, uh, I have to redo the contacts. Because I like for them to work. You know? And, um, but I can't see them right now. This is something I'll have to look at later. But not cool? I mean, look at the Borg hand on the stand. That's pretty darn cool. And all these are going to go on those shelves back there and be lit up. So it's pretty cool. All right. On to the other one. Now, some of these probably won't have stands. I kind of hope they do. But, uh, again, this is all packaged up. I hear something rattling in there. I'm hoping it's a stand. But let's see what we got. Well, at least this one was double wrapped. That's pretty darn good. Uh... Oh, oh, I know what this one is. I know what this one is. Oh, oh, oh. what do you know? Whew. There's dead bugs in here, too. From what I understand, this locker had been paid for for like 10 years. And then I don't know. I don't know what happened to the owners or the people. Um... But uh, it stopped being paid for, and so um, uh, the the owner of the business contacted me and asked if I was interested. So, yeah, I bought two or three of them. I think it's three of them. But in any case, and this was last fall, last winter, I'm, I'm in on the East Coast, so um, I wanted to wait till spring to go through all this. But in any case, check this out. This is the, 17, uh, the 1701-A, the refit. 
Eh, it's a little bent. May have to work on it a little bit. And doesn't seem to be working. This looks like a, um, I know there was one brand, Playmates, and then there was another brand. This looks like, because it's well painted, if you look at it, and it's got lights and things in it. And um, so I'm wondering if this was a little more expensive brand. It looked, you know, it there has, there has some discoloration in it. I'm hoping that I can clean it up and bring back some of the collars. There we go. Oh, I snapped it back on. Now they're now they're level. Okay. There's the back of it right there. And yes, we do have the stand for it. That is amazing. I just have to clean out all the dust and the dead bugs. But looks like there's the the mounting point for the ship and um the stand. Pretty cool. All right. I'm going to run out of room here, guys. Give me a second. I oh. wonder why. I hope those batteries aren't got a bunch of acid in it and anything. May have to take it apart and figure it out. Okay. Moving on. Wow. Okay. So... This is the TOS version of our beloved Starship. I don't see a stand. There's no stand with it. And I believe that this is a Playmates version. Probably early to mid-90s, I'm assuming. So I'm really excited about trying to get these things to work again. Because they were actually really cool. Um... I remember back in the early 70s, I watched um, the original series um, on syndication, and uh, I loved it, and I fell in love with it, and I was super excited when um, uh, Next Generation came out, and um, obviously Deep Space Nine, and Voyager, and Enterprise, and I loved them all, and now there's two series they're controversial, um, and I even like the J.J. movies because they were entertaining, but I understand um, some of the, um, the sentiments about those. But in any case, it is entertaining. The name Star Trek is still alive, and I'm sure uh, Mr. Gene Roddenberry would be proud of any of them. Anyway, so here we go. 1701 beautiful ship and now not working i'm hoping to find a stand for this man those would look good right up there on those shelves won't they all right here we go moving on uh man they're packed in this box hold on a second i got a stand oh well would you look at that I bet, oh man, that is dirty. I mean, these these things have been in storage for years and years and years. So, I don't know. I mean, there's cobwebs everywhere. Oh, it snapped right in. What do you think, everybody? I think we got it. Would you look at that? <laughs> that is awesome. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Okay, I better get going here because this video is going to be like five days long. Anyway, here we go. I have no idea. Ta-da! Doesn't have a battery thing in it. And actually, that's a good thing. Doesn't have the cover. It's probably in here someplace. I don't know. But the contacts, yeah, they're pretty crusty. I'm going to have to clean them up. The buttons are sticky on it. But at least we have it. 
how many of these are still hanging out? It's even got a belt clip, so you can hang it on your cosplay uniform if you want. By the way, I do have one. It's from um, Stargate Atlantis. I'll show it to you on camera one time. But in any case, that is exciting. All right. Oh, wow. I used to be a model builder. Airplanes, cars, and things when I was a little boy. And this thing isn't even built. I hope all the parts are here. This is a model of the... I, what is it? A um, It's the shuttlecraft, and it, I think it's the Galileo. Well, check that out. Wow. I don't have my readers on, so I can't do the writing. I think it says 1979 on it. I don't know. All right, so... This is a model of the Galileo inside of it. Looks like they had started painting on it. There's a bulkhead in there and some other pieces. Here's the nacelles. Looks like the window has been put in. Oh, this will be a project for winter time, next winter. Um, we have a bunch of paperwork here. Some sandpaper. Oh, sandpaper. Here's the Subscribe to the blueprint, Ertl. Okay, so this is an AMT model, Ertl. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably going to show up backwards in the video. But in any case, um, oh, we got stickers. Yes, we got the stickers. And um, some miscellaneous pieces here, including a hobby knife. All right, cool. This is exciting. This will be in a video. We'll build it. Now, I won't do it all in one video, but I'll give you a little shorts about the progress uh, when I get there. My goodness. Oh, look. Check it out. The ends of the nacelles. i got to be careful when I open this stuff, don't I? Wow. All right. Here we go. Moving on. And, yes, there will be a lot of cuts and edits in this. All right. Here we go. See, pieces are starting to fall out everywhere. All right, I'm just going to put it over here for now. And, wow, there's some more stuff. Here is, oh, and a battery. Okay. This is exciting. I wonder if that's still in there. Okay, so I'm not going to take it out of the bag, but it's the uh, NCC-1701B. And it also has the battery cover for it. I don't know if you can see that right there. Okay. I apologize if the text shows up backwards. Um, I'll figure that out later. Um, ooh, look, a Cardassian. Uh, what is that, a battleship? I don't remember all the names of them. Um, there's another battery. Huh. Anyway. Ooh, and check this out. Here's the stand. Here's the stand for this. Um... There we go. Check that out. Whoops. I'll get it later. Um, that might be, this might be the battery cover to the phaser. Yes, it is. It's the battery cover to the phaser. Wow. That's a win-win. Check that out. Huh. I know some people I'd like to use this on. Anyway, moving on. My desk is getting filled up. There's miscellaneous parts in here. We're not going to go through them right now. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, I already know what this is, and it feels like it's broken, but let's take a look anyway. And a live stink bug. 
I hate those things. I'll take care of him later. Yep, that's what I thought. We got some stands. That's cool. Star Trek. Another Star Trek stand. Yep, this is the B. Oh, look at that beautiful thing. Inter the Enterprise B. I'm thinking this might be a Playmates one. I'm not sure. I don't think they're, uh, I think it was Diamond Select, but there was another brand too during the 90s and the early 2000s. Check that out. Hmm. I wonder if it works. Let's try it. <laughs> now. Oh. It's trying. I think the batteries are just too old and wasted. But I think one of these is probably the stand to it. Oh, that's it. Then where do the batteries go? There we go. Eh, then the cells are a little wonky on this model. I may have to try to figure out how to reinforce them. Anyway. How do I get the stand out without breaking it? Okay. Moving on. Man, I'm going to fill up my room here. That's exciting. I love the B. The B is one of my favorite um, enterprises. <laughs> what do we have here? This is a Klingon. I can't remember. It's not a, it's not a Katinga. But it's like one of their big battleships. And it's really... Um, yeah, I'm wondering... And I smoke, but I don't smoke in the house. But it looks like it's either just aged or it was in a place that a lot of smoke happened. But you can see the bottom. There's It looks like the original gray, but on the top, it's pretty well thin. I'm going to have to figure out how to restore that. Oh, it works. Let's see if you can get the lights in there. All right. Okay, thank you. Um, hey, the lights work. Everything works. I don't see a place to put a stand, so I don't know. Yeah, it'll sit. It'll sit level like that. That's menacing ship. It's really cool. You know. Um, this appeared in Deep Space Nine, too, right? Um, General Martok, I believe it was. It's been a couple years since I watched Deep Space Nine and the Dominion Wars. But in any case, that's really cool. Okay. Moving on. Yep, there's no stand in that. Well, what do you know? The 1701 woke up. Are you kidding me? That's cool. That's got a lot of sound effects with it. Ha! Huh. Oh, I think I hit the wrong button. Anyway, okay, we'll, we'll look at those later. Um, man, I got a few more in here, so bear with me. Be patient, okay? Um, wow, check this one out. Oh, I already know what this one is. I know what this one is. Yes, I do. And it has the stand. Wow, this, I love this. This is awesome. Check that out. The NX-01 with the Aztecing on it and everything. That is awesome. Look at that. And the cells seem to be straight. 
looks like the deflector dish is a little crooked, but eh, my gosh, it's been in storage for years. Who knows? I'm lucky it's even there. You know, that's pretty cool. Doesn't seem to work, so I'm sure the batteries are dead. And it comes with a stand. So that's awesome. Man, I might have to get bigger shells. Who knew? All right, here we go. Moving on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, the Romulan Bird of Prey. This is one of my favorite uh, evil ships in Star Trek. It is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous uh, ship. And it seems to be working. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Wow. That is awesome. I didn't see any lights on it. Is there any lights on it? Oh, yeah, the lights are working on it. Ha! Huh. That's cool. Again, all these are all dirty and dusty, so I don't know how they're going to show up in the video. Man, that is going to be awesome. I don't, didn't have a stand in the bag. Like I said, I hopefully has stands in there someplace. If not, then maybe we will hang it up someplace. Who knows? Okay. Next on the list here. Uh, huh. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this is the Enterprise D. What was it? An alternate universe or something? Had extra firepower. Um... I don't, I don't remember. It wasn't bet? No, it wasn't that one. Um, but these are supposed to fold away, I guess, somewhat. I don't know. But that's pretty cool. It's got the third nacelle and some mean guns. And it's got the little winglets down here. And, uh, wow, that's really cool. I haven't seen one of these in ages. And, um, huh. It'd be interesting to play with this for a bit. I don't know if this powers up or anything. Or even has batteries to it. It does have a stand. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. Okay, now, wait a minute. The, yeah, it was an ultimate timeline. Um, oh, I think it was it yesterday's Enterprise when the Enterprise C came through the uh, time portal, like the wormhole. That may have been it. All right, anyway, doesn't matter. I'm rambling. Sorry. Okay, moving on. Woo! Another stink bug. Doggone it. Go go away. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at this. Well, there's the stand. And it's round. It is the Borg Sphere from First Contact in Voyager, too, I believe. It has, has some old batteries in it. But I don't see the buttons. Well, there's a damage. Uh, I guess the, it pops. Oh, okay, yeah, see? There's damage to it when the uh, you push a hidden button here. And... Um, I guess it's for damage. I don't know. There we go. Okay, anyway. But it, it has batteries in it, so I'm wondering. I have to look at it more and research it, because I'm not feeling anything. Of course, you know, the, the Borgs hide everything. Anyway, there's the damage panel that flew off unexpectedly. And... Um, so, there you go. And i got to get rid of the stink bug, guys. I'll be right back. He obviously didn't like Star Trek. Or being here. A smell only a mother could love. Insect mother. Maybe someone from 
an insect from, uh, what was it? Uh, Starship Troopers? Yeah. Cool movie, by the way. Anyway, I'm going to set this over here for now because i got to get that little panel back on. I don't want to lose it. All right. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Check this out. Yeah, a Klingon bird of prey. Beautiful. I don't see a stand anywhere. But that doesn't mean it's someplace else in the locker or that there's not any more Star Trek stuff in that locker. Like I said, I've barely scratched the surface because it was warm enough the past couple days to actually go in and take a look at it. But um, in any case, check that out. That is sweet. And it has buttons on top here. But, man, that would look menacing. Man, if I could find that stand, that would be fantastic. Okay. We're almost done here. Give me a second. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> you saw these in TOS, and you saw them in Enterprise. This one obviously has the stand. Man, check this out. Obviously, it's the Romulans. Look at that beauty right there. That is so cool. It's got the bird on the bottom of it. <laughs> that is awesome. Yes, sir. And it's, it's, you know, it's, it's miscollared or uncollared or how do you say it? Anyway. Yep. Batter hopefully there's no batteries in it. it. It would make my job so much easier trying to get these things working. Anyway. Cool. The original Romulan Bird of Prey. Awesome. Um, two more items. Here we go. Two more items. I have seen this. Uh, well, it's probably been about 10 years. Um, it's more of a toy rather than a display piece model. But, hey, anything Star Trek's cool. Check that out. The shuttle. One of the shuttle is the Goddard uh, from Big D. Yeah, check that out, man. That is awesome. I wonder if that works. No, I'm not getting anything from it. It does have a door in the back. Ooh. Man, that thing is detailed. I don't know if I can get enough light in there uh, for you to take a look at it. But... It's got the jump seats in it. It's got something in the middle. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Does the front open up on this? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Cool. Check that out. It's well detailed. It's got all the L cars panels in it. Hey, that's awesome. And I found the battery compartment. And there's batteries in it. But, eh. It was taped shut, so it's, I don't know. I'll take a look at it later, clean these things up. But, man, that is cool. It's got a lot of lights on it. And, uh, man, that's exciting. Too bad it didn't have the figure in it. It's got wheels, too. I think they need oiled. Okay. Last but not least, I already know what this was. I saved the best for last. Well, in my opinion. Here we go. Big D. Check that out, man. That is amazing. Big D. And, of course, it doesn't have any batteries in it. But, I don't know. A lot of people thought that it was disproportionate or anything. And, you know, 
like any new Star Trek series, it takes a while for followers to really kind of warm up to the characters and the new spacecraft. And uh, the next generation was just that. The next generation uh, after Kirk and Spock. So obviously, like today, the technology, the designs, uh, everything advances. And uh, the older uh, ships become obsolete. Um, if you remember when TNG came out, um, we had uh, brick cell phones. Oh, okay. Um, but they had, you know, flip phones, little Motorola thingies. Um, they had iPads, you know. Um, and the technology that was portrayed in Star Trek um, inspired a lot of inventors and scientists to um, make it reality. And so uh, that's some really cool stuff. And uh, it inspired a, a lot of uh, uh, scientists in NASA and um, SpaceX and, you know, technology companies um, to create really cool things. So in any case, here we go. There is the end of the line for what I have here now, but there'll be plenty more, and I can't guarantee you it's going to be exciting. If it's not exciting, I'm not going to film it. But in any case, let's close out with the big D. And yes, it has the stand. Talk to you next time. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Take it easy. Live long and prosper. I can't do the Vulcan thing, so see you later.